Hello there, you once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotion Moment. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. God has always got good plans for you. He's always waiting for each one of us to become the person he destined us to be. And that's, you know, when we go to worship, wherever we worship, it's not because we don't have something else to do. It's simply because we love him so much. We just look for opportunity and places to join, just like the way you go to the football field, to join with all the you know, fans, you know, to shout and jump. But you know, this is a little bit different. We don't just go there to just shout and jump because we are not just spectators, we are active participants because we have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Him. We have settled for Him as our Lord and personal Savior. And when one has done that, there's no stopping, there's no hindrance to that life. And we're so grateful to God for this precious, beautiful opportunity. And so we're looking at God's Word. You know, we did that yesterday and we are continuing from the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2. And Paul was writing to the church in Thessalonica, trying to make them understand the need for them to settle for the Word of God because when one decides not to obey the word of God as receive the teachings of the Lord, they have invariably settled for that which is opposite, and that's falsehood. They've settled, settled for falsehood. They've settled for the devil. They've settled for the consequences of their decision, and that is judgment and condemnation. You may want to go back to previous uh, uh, edition like for two three days now to understand what I just said okay but then we closed yesterday looking at verse number 13 and verse number 13 says but we brethren beloved by the Lord ought and are obligated obligated as those who are in debt to give thanks always to God for you right so said we are obligated to give thanks to God always for you now, the church in Thessalonica were exceptional, so we we'll give God thanks for them. It says, so because God chose you from the beginning as his first fruit, first fruit, first convert for salvation through the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit and your belief in, adhere to, trust in, and reliance on the truth, who is a personality, Jesus, the truth. Is a personality and he said I'm the way the truth and the life so when we settle for that something unusual happened verse number 14 the word of God goes on to say it was to this end that he called you through our gospel so that you may obtain and share in the glory of our Lord Jesus the Messiah hallelujah what a wonderful opportunity can you imagine that when we are preached to and we receive the gospel, we didn't just receive religion. What we receive is a new life. For if any man is in Christ, it's a new creation. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. And added to that, it says, we also share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you imagine this? So you are called 
through the gospel so that you may obtain and share in the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Can you remember that the word of God says God does not share his glory with anyone? Okay, that's one dimension. But here he's saying we may share in the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What is he talking about? Now, the first one implies that you cannot take the place of God, you cannot receive glory unto yourself. But what he's talking about here, when you give your life to Christ, the God kind of life, all right? This is the glory you share in. The God kind of life which was made manifest and which is in Christ Jesus becomes your life. You know, remember he was talking to the disciples, he said, I am the light of the world, talking about himself. And then he turned to them and said, you are the light of the world. So when you receive him, you receive his nature and you receive all the glory that goes with Jesus. And that is what a lot of people are missing today. And the devil will do everything to keep you out of that. Why? Because if you have the glory, you can bind the devil. You can cast out demons. You can put them out of business. And so he will continually use seduction, delusion, and all kinds of means to get you out of sync with God. Because once you are in sync with God, you are lifted higher in the realm of the spirit. You share in a glory that transforms your entire being. And, you know, on to verse number 15, look at what it says. You must hold on to the word of God. Verse 15 says, So then, brethren, stand firm and hold fast to the tradition oh hallelujah to the traditions and instructions which you were taught by us whether by our word of mouth or by letter i want you we're going to dwell more a little bit a little bit more on this tomorrow i want you to accept jesus as your lord accept the opportunity to share in the glory so you can overcome the things you're struggling with you see the reason why a lot of people are missing it is simply because they don't know what is in need for them and i'm telling you today receive jesus as your lord and personal savior you have life you have redemption from destruction and you have the privilege to walk into the glory of god thank you for being part of today's broadcast i'm ego louis god bless you